On this edition of SoCal Fly Tying, I want to tie up a Peter Piconi Prowler, an excellent surf and bay fly that you'll definitely want to have in your fly box. So Peter Piconi Prowler, what is it? It is basically a uh, fly uh, developed by Peter Piconi, the owner of uh, SoCal Fly Fishing uh, Outfitters there in San Diego. Um, fly he probably developed there to uh, fish the uh, surf and bay. Uh, very good fishing there in San Diego. Um, what I have in the vise here is a variation of Peter's fly. It's a fly that, uh, you know, I kind of basically just follow his same same idea and same patterns. I just used um, Arctic Fox. And uh, I just want to add uh, this pattern that I'm going to tie up today is the pattern that I used to tag my first Oahu bonefish. So this pattern here uh, definitely has a, a bit of a uh, spot now in my uh, fly box. And uh, definitely want to show you guys how I do it. So for materials, it's going to be some Arctic Fox uh, zonkers here. Uh, hook of choice I like to use is a uh, Mustad. This is a tarpon hook, very strong hook, and this is a C68SZ. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use various forms of uh, CCG to uh, create uh, some of that um, kind of epoxy back that's in that fly, very famous part. And it's a UV gray uh, uh, crystal flash, and I also have some uh, crinkle flash. And this is in uh, Cascade Crest. So kind of just the, the, you know, the materials I plan on using for this fly. So let's go ahead and tie one up. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the vise now. I've already put my dumbbells on, dumbbell eyes on. And this has already done this as I did um, in the last tutorial, in the first tutorial. So eyes are on. Let's go ahead and tie this pattern up. So what does it really involve? So I'm going to go ahead and just put on my... My thread, and my thread I like to use a is a clear, fine mono thread, and I like to use for all my flies. Um, one key little thing here is when you start your flies is is always make sure you keep your flies consistent and find that point at which you want to go ahead and start all your all your fly materials. So you'll see a lot of my videos. I'm going to be doing this. I'm always going to be setting my thread right there where the the bar begins to kind of climb up. I just like for my flies, I like to keep it consistent and just start my flies right from there. So it's a good little trick. Uh, I saw some other tire do it and I think I like to incorporate that in my flies. It just keeps everything real consistent. So you know uh, one fly from the next fly will look exactly the same. So um, right here, this is the, uh, the, the zonker strip. This is an, an orange zonker strip. And this is going to be the tail. So zonker's kind of cool. Uh, this, this Arctic Fox has really nice fine tips. And that's what you want for that tail. So, you know, size it to the body. Go ahead and clip off all the fuzz in the back piece that you really don't need for this part of it, at least. And uh, go ahead and just tie her in, okay? What's great about mono thread, there is exact, there is no buildup whatsoever. So it really makes time materials in really, really nice. So like I said, for consistency, I want to make sure my thread always lies in that point, and you'll see that as I do that, I'll keep on referring back to that. Uh, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with some. Uh, this is my uh, crinkle flash, and it is a super duper flash in that it really, really has tons of light that it, that comes off of it. So it's uh, really neat and uh, really great for. I'm going to use it now on the side of the fly. So I'm going to put um, you know two pieces on uh, each side of the fly, right about here. So I'm going to go right there and try to capture that, like that, and put it right on the side. Okay, right on the side of the fly. And this is now two pieces on one side. Go back, flip over the fly. And that's a little rotating vise, easy to do. You can. Gonna go ahead now and put it right on the other side. Let's see if I can capture that. There you go. And 
and set her up right. As we talked about, you want to be right and consistent and be right. Perfect. Looks good. Clip off your your excess. So there you go. You got four pieces of crinkle flash on that. Uh, two on each side. Now, I forgot to add in for materials. I'm using uh, basically something called diamond braid. And what diamond braid is is just furled up. Uh, essentially, you can call it furled up crystal flash. So it's really great for uh, bodies and stuff. Um, it's kind of like this big furled up piece of flash. And the way you use it, you don't you don't tie this piece on. That'd be way too bulky. What you do is you unfurl it. So what you do is you just start picking at the ends of it. Okay. Pick at the ends, pick at the ends, and you see that it starts to really unfurl. And it's really neat. So now it's, you know, it's, it's two strands of crystal flash with a bit of kink in it. And what I do now is I'll go take my, my bobbin right to the eyes. I'm going to double it up, over, double it over a little bit, and that's just going to help it secure it to tie it in. I'm going to go ahead and now take it like I've been doing here, take it back to my that, that end point, make sure you keep everything consistent, and take your thread right back to behind the eye. So now that you have now this extra piece here, just kind of clip that off. Okay, that was just there to have a secure tie-in point. Now I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, take this. I'm going to build a body. This is the beauty of this stuff. It, it rather than trying to gather a bunch of crystal flash and and tie them in and everything, this very much does it for you. So uh, really great for building bodies, and and you know you can double it up. Um, to, uh, to capture, you know, get the gaps and things. As I was, right now, you can see there was a bit of a, a gap on the Arctic Fox. So I'll just use the braid material to go ahead and capture that. And what I like to do is just go ahead and you can put around the dumbbells. Just add a little more flash to the fly. Right there. And then you can finish it off, the wrapping right in the front, front of the eyes. And tie her off. Like that. So now you got your flashy body and you have your uh, basically your flash coming off the back. And now what I'm gonna do is, sorry about that, I'm gonna whip finish this right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just clip off some of the stuff that looks a little unruly, like that piece there. Looks pretty good. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and build the epoxy body. So I'm going to put the fly to its side like that. I'm going to come in with the material. In this case, I'm going to be using uh, CCG, and this is tack free. Uh, basically, it is really, really good stuff. It essentially, is uh, uh, same almost same as CCG um, fine or basically, uh, they call it thick and thin. This is more like the thin, uh, and it works really great for building these bodies, and it's also tack-free. So I just put a little base down, and then use your use your light, CCG light, don't look at it, um, and then now do the other side. Uh, the key thing here is, when doing this, is do not overdo the first base. So right there, just add a little more. And you're looking good. So now you're going to start building up this little body. So next thing I do is just go ahead and add a little more. So I'm going back, back right back to the uh, to the eyes here. Just a little more CCG, and I'm progressively making and adding and building a body. You'll see that. Now the other side. This is about the most time consuming part of this fly. And it really, as you can see, is really not that time consuming if you have a good a good product like CCG, which essentially hardens in a few seconds. So <clears throat> it's looking pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna I'm gonna apply this side flash. And to do that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some more, a little bit of CCG here, and apply just a little bit of a Additional amount right there, right there in the eye. Take this, take these, the crinkle flash, and then lay it in all that, all the CCG right there. And then now you're gonna go ahead and when, once you get it where you want it, hit it. 
and it's stuck. Okay, now you got it right where you want it. So now, let's do the other side. Same thing. Lay a little base of CCG down. Almost like a little bit of a tack. Make it so you it's good to go. Bring it over your, like I said, like crinkle flash. Throws off tons of light in the water. Again, and then once you want to, where you have it, and when you want it, hit it. Hit it with your light, close your eyes, and you're good to go. So there I go. I have a little, now I have my CCG on, and I have my bit of that, that tapered epoxy body. Looks freaking cool in the water and everything. And um, now just add just that last little top coat. This is going to be your finishing, finishing coat to the fly. Right there. Looks pretty good. And now just hit that. You're almost there. So, looking pretty good. Last maybe last night on the other side. Little tack coat. A lot of, a lot of tack coat. This is the last little coat <laughs> of the uh, CCG. Hit it. Money looks good. Now you do simply do is come in here and trim off these pieces. Right, you've already placed. So there you go. So now you can see that body is. You have now set that. Do a little bit more here. You have now set the um, CCG body. Um, back in the day, you probably would have used epoxy, but now with these, um, you know, the, the the introduction of all these uh, UV. Uh, hardened epoxies uh, or resins, uh, it, it works out really well. So there it is. Pretty much the flies good to go. Uh, now I'm going to come in with my uh, my gray crystal flash. This is going to be my under flash underneath that top wing. So let's go ahead and put back all my thread. Body's built, looking good. You know, take some material here. I'm going to go ahead and just grab. I don't know, it's, it's probably going to be about four to five on each side. Looking pretty good. Split it up a little bit. You can kind of do a little trim just to kind of get it where you want a little bit. Looks good. And now it's going to come in the top wing. The top wing I'm going to use now my uh, my brown. Um, this is basically Bonefish Tan um, Arctic Fox Zonker. Now you don't want to, you don't need a huge a huge over wing on this or top wing. So you want to go ahead and just trim it so it's nice and neat. And uh, one little one little trick about using using Arctic Fox is get yourself a little little plastic little tub here in a sponge and add some water to it. This is a great little trick for uh, using Arctic Fox and also using um, uh, Zonker from uh, from Rabbit Fur. Um, basically it's, it's really great for that because of those very fine fibers that really dance and flow uh, in the water um, when dry are just, are just kind of a mess to deal with. So. Go ahead and just size your wing. You want your wing to be just a bit longer than that tail. So that's about right there. Go ahead. Trim off that little zonker piece or the hide piece. Set now the top wing. Looks pretty good. Now come in here and just you can just trim off a lot of this under for something like that. That way it doesn't get so bulky in that in that in that um, towards the eye. You can just take off some of that right towards the front of the eye, and then just use your um, your thread just to kind of make a nice nice taper, which I've done done here. Um, I, and I often like to just pull the pull the fly out of the vise and just brush it all back and. Make sure it's looking. Make sure it's looking money, and I think that's looking pretty good. So you know what? Really, you can probably fish it there. But um, one of the things that um, was on the on the original prowler is uh, rubber legs. And uh, for me, top rubber legs. I think you guys said it before. Cascade Crest, great company. 
Great rubber legs. Um, this is basically an orange red flake, which is an excellent color for a lot of these uh, these flies, and uh, and this works really good. And this will kind of you know imitates that that shrimp pattern. And in this case, you know our local bays. This could be uh, taken as a uh, as a grass shrimp, as a uh, as a ghost shrimp. Um, so really really neat to do that to get your legs what I'll do then is now uh, add uh, basically I'm folding it over I'm gonna add essentially it's gonna be ended up being two on each side the legs something like that so you can see that I have now two on this side two on that side legs are looking good and that's your fly that's a Peter Piconi prowler the way I like to tie it, Peter's fly is going to have a uh, calf tail, a, a calf tail, um, basically uh, uh, over wing, top wing, and I think he uses a, a marabou um, for his uh, basically that that kind of that hot spot in the back there. Um, but I I I, I use this because I love Arctic fox. For me, I don't really see this as a surf fly. I see this more as a bay fly. See it more something I'd use for spotties, and uh, you know it's coming up to October, November, which is my favorite time to go catch bonefish in San Diego Bay. So let's go ahead and, and finish off this fly. I'm gonna see if I can do a whip finish without screwing my fly up. And we'll look at that. While well, you look at that, I did it. Oh yeah. So there it is. Peter Piconi Prowler. Finish her off. I've been using Hydro, CCG Hydro. Uh, it's it's kind of neat little material. It's like it's basically it's like Sally Hansen's in a way. It's in it's the same consistency, very very fluid. Um, the difference is that it is a CCG product. So when I hit it with my light, as I'll do right here, close your eyes. A bit of a twist here. And rotation. And that's it. Now what I have is a hardened, real hard head. Now with that, with that mono thread, really there's no need to come in and and put a mark or anything because the mono thread, when hit with the CCG, it basically takes on the uh, it, the, the the threads basically disappear and will take on the the color of that top material in this case. I got brown, bonefish, tan, arctic fox. That's the color that shines through. That's what I want. No need for markers. I really, really like that aspect of using that material. So um, that's it. You know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and post the material list at the end of the video just in case someone mix, missed some of this stuff. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, check me out on my uh, SoCal Fly Time page on Facebook. And also my uh, SoCal Fly Tying, all one word, channel on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, this fly will work for you. Uh, like I said, first Oahu Bonefish, this fly is definitely going to be my fly box for a long, long time. Uh, happy fishing and happy tying. Thanks.